Come on. As dogs start getting older, they can require some additional things to help them along with their everyday activities, such as walking up and down stairways. Allow me to introduce my best friend Coco. If you've been watching my videos, I'm sure you have seen Coco in them a time or two, and as you can probably see, Coco is no spring chicken. Coco is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever, and she just turned 15 years old. The life expectancy of a Chesapeake Bay Retriever, according to Google, is normally 10 to 12 years. So that makes Coco a walking miracle, and I want to do everything that I can to help keep her with us as long as possible. Unfortunately, Coco was diagnosed with Lyme disease about 8 years ago, and hip dysplasia is pretty common in this breed when they reach the geriatric stages. Until recently, she has had no problem going up and down stairs, but it is becoming a real chore for her nowadays, and today we are going to try to fix that. So I got the idea to build her a ramp to make it easier for her to get up and down the steps, and after a little planning, came up with something that would not impede on the regular steps at all. This would require the removal of a few railing components to give Coco her own little doorway to enter and exit the ramp. For this project, I will be using some remnant lumber that was laying around the shop from projects gone by, using a 2x12 for the main floor of the ramp. I will start out by measuring a length that will give Coco the lowest percent grade possible, within reason of course. I am now going to mark the angle to make this piece transition nicely to the deck floor without any gaps. I will use a scrap 2x4 to make the ramp more sturdy where it meets the deck. And make a center support column from a leftover piece of 2x12 from the main body of the ramp. I am just using furring strips to make the railing and assembling it with a 16 gauge brad nailer. For just around 10 bucks at the local Good Stuff Cheap store, I got a whole stack of carpet stair treads to add some grip to the floor. Now I'm using a narrow crown stapler to attach these to the ramp. This project went together pretty smoothly. Matter of fact, almost too smoothly. Now hopefully Coco won't pull her stubborn dog routine on me this time. Sometimes she can be the epitome of the old dogs that you cannot in fact teach a new trick to. We are about to find out. Coco, okay. you want to eat the treat? Come on baby. Looky. Coco, here. Here, look at the treat. Come here. Come on, Coco. Come on. Come on down. I guarantee it, Coco, and then you got the pizza. Just for doing something crazy easy. She can't 
fall from that. I mean, I've seen her go down weird shit before. That even. She's contemplating getting over that rail somehow to go to those steps so she could reach in and get the rest of them like she did the bottom. I had to block the other way on the porch because she was going to jump off the other end. Really? She was willing to take that jump but not go down this ramp. Yeah, that's crazy. She and you willing. even put her on the steps? Yep. And she wanted to jump over the rail? Mm-hmm. Holy hell. Just stubbornness, you know, like, yeah. I don't need this, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> She'll have to, I would make her use this. Oh yeah, she, she's gotta use yeah. it. I mean, you should see her go up the steps. So I tried everything, including making a trail of her favorite treats, and she seems to be on to every trick that I know of. I will describe it as being defined in the most oppositional manner. So I am going to ask the audience for some help. Do any of you have a suggestion to get Miss Coco to start using this ramp? Please enter the comments below if you have any ideas and I will give them a try. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And remember, when life gives you mountains, pedal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.